Yeah. Um, well, obviously, hugely disappointing outcome for us. Um, but you know what? At least we were more like ourselves today in terms of our football. Out. I mean, our last two away games, Newcastle, Chelsea, us, apart from the results, which weren't great either, but we just didn't try and play our football. I thought today, <coughs> even the first half, you know, we, we, some of our football, our pressing was, was back to where it should be. Um, we, we lacked a real sort of cutting edge for sure. We just had nothing in that front third and that allowed Liverpool to get comfortable and flip side of that was when they got forward and into the front third their, their front guys were you know were quite lethal in, in pouncing on our mistakes and um, <clears throat> so yeah so 4-0 you, you, you know we've got a mountain to climb but again when we play like ourselves we always finish strong because we, we put pressure on the opposition that eventually takes its toll and you know we scored a got couple of goals maybe we could add a couple more so look it's it, no hiding away from it's disappointing but at least we tried to play and we looked you know, like a version of ourselves, which gives me something to work with. Is, there, is it a confidence thing at the moment? You, you know, you Ma maybe in the front third, it, there is. I thought, like I said, I thought our football was was good today. You know, we, we under pressure. You know, they're a good pressing team. We played some real good stuff to get through them, and then we get to the front third, and nothing would happen, and there, there probably is a bit of a, a lack of confidence. But again, you know, that's. You know, that's just something guys got to work through. You know, you you got to <coughs> you got to find a way to overcome that because um, ultimately, you know, if you don't put pressure on the opposition in that front third when you after you've worked your way up there, then like I said, they're going to get comfortable with with their position. So, um, so yeah, so it's probably a little bit of that. Um, but again, it's you know we've got to find a way to, to snap out of that because it's it's not going to happen on its own. But do you not think it's also mentality? Yeah, oh, look, again, I think you missed the point of what I just said. I don't think we were playing badly. I, I know we're losing 4-0. And against Arsenal, I didn't think we were playing badly. It's just that the difference was in the two boxes, we, we kind of lacked a cutting edge in the opposition, very good opposition. So, like I said, that's got nothing to do with I mean, mentality, if you come to Anfield and, you know, don't try and play, maybe that shows that you haven't got the mentality. But we tried to play. We definitely have tried to play, and uh, so I don't think it's a mentality issue at all. Uh, in fact, I think it's the polar opposite of that. I think the mentality, at least tonight, was there for us to 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 go out and try and be a version of ourselves. And you know, we're short, absolutely, uh, but like I said, that gives me something to work with. And you mentioned before in terms of your, your build-up and how you like to approach it against the Liverpool side. You do like to regain the ball. How, how did you feel? You did, there were some mistakes. Was it, was it a tempo thing? Was it? Movement sometimes? No, I think, you know, I mean, I think we pinched it a few times as well. But the difference was they punished us and we didn't punish them. So that's what I'm talking about. So when you've got two teams kind of similar going at it, it's going to happen. Um, in those moments, it's what, you know, whether you capitalise or not. So, But again, I, I, I'd much rather we go down that road and try and fix those kind of areas than, than try and change our approach. Could you ask about yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, it, we're, we're playing him out of position. Obviously, you know, it's kind of the way the seasons, our season's gone. Whenever we've had injuries, we <coughs> invariably have had him in the same part of the pitch. So, you know, both our left backs are out, so we kind of forced him out there. So it's, it's not great for him, and he's obviously up against a you know pretty good player in Mo. So, um, so, but you know, that's again, that's uh, that's something we have to deal with. What did you make of Charles? Yeah, it was good. But again, I think that was because we, we'd worked hard up until that point. And like I said, when we play our football, and you know, it looks, it sounds madness because we were 4 0 down, but we, we still made Liverpool work hard. And we do in all our games, you know, the Arsenal game was similar. Um, so we always tend to finish strong. Um, and I think the subs benefit from the hard work of the other guys, but it certainly helped. You know, although Richie was really good with his presence, and, you know, then the other guys coming on, I thought, Added something for us, um, and uh, yeah, look, we, we got a couple of goals. So I said, yeah, I could add a couple more. What was your thoughts of bringing them on when you did? Because it seemed the game was effectively dead at that point. Were you still thinking you'd get something? Well, it wasn't, was it? No, no. Yeah, so, was that so. your thought that you could? Yeah, look, I mean, Richie played. I mean, he started on you know, Thursday night, but he's he's been out for a fair while, so we were never going to play him back to back games. So it was always about trying to get him on the field in the last half hour today, irrespective of how the game was going. But 
look, at 4-0, do you think you can win? No, but I, I still felt we would get something, could get something out of the game in terms of, because I, I knew we'd finish strong because of all the work we'd done till that. So, But it's fair to say before he came on, we never looked threatening at all um, whenever we got into those areas. And him coming on, I thought Sonny improved on the left and Brennan on the right. Um, just gave us a little bit more of a presence in there. And, and, and as the players left at half time, um, I don't know whether you saw it or we were able to see it, but basically, you know, the uh, Cario stepped in between Romero and uh, Royale. I just wonder what, what you made of it, whether you saw it. Or you saw it. I, I didn't see it, a few people mentioned it, but mate, they, as I've said to others, um, they care, mate. You know, it hurts them. They're not, you know, it's like they're not going to just be happy with the current situation, you know, and, and because they care, um, you know, they they want it to improve. So there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And um, you know, as long as it's done in a constructive way and irrespective, like you know, the players who have been, I've been told were involved, I, you know, they care. You know, they want to change the situation. They want to accept it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks,